Hi Leo, it's Elle here to do your bonus read for November going into December. It's just the general energies around surrounding um, Leo, so it's a general message. It may resonate with you, may not. Um, I've got two spreads here, Leo woman, Leo man, five card advice spread. The bottom of the deck, the overall energy is the messenger of water or the knight of cups. So, um, there's someone wanting to offer emotion and invest emotionally. Um, there, they could be, you know, in love with someone. They want to to uh, offer emotional investment. The thing about that is, what is in between that? You know, somebody could want to invest emotionally with you. Uh, but they could be married. They could live across the the world. They could, I mean, there's so many obstacles that could be there. So there is the opportunity or the offer to, for someone to invest emotionally. Or you just don't like this person or you don't get along. Or there was history, negative history. This could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. doesn't have to be. Sun, Moon, Rising. Or you can have that in your chart. You're wanting to you're wanting to invest emotionally. Let's see. My Leo woman. Alright, so the first card is the Leo woman right where she is. The Queen of Earth, right? Abundant. Um, good homemaker. The quintessential good wife. Makes good decisions. Is trying to um, tries to keep balance in the home. Tries to be practical and rational as possible. You may be married, Leo woman, or in a long-term committed relationship. Are you on your correct path? Wow, strength, you come up. It looks like you're going to have to have strength to, like I said, you know, I just feel like with this messenger of water, yes, someone wants to invest emotionally, but there might be something in between all of that or behind all of that or even before all of that you know it's like you have to deal with some energies that surrounds this um, this person who is gushy over you or you being gushy over someone else um also with the strength card there might have been like getting over some type of I mean it could be any negative lower vibrational energy like I said it could be a uh, cheating spouse uh, lies and deception money problems with another person especially if your wife and you live with each other I mean it could be anything just problems in the marriage addiction codependency it, so you're trying to have strength to move it forward or even to walk out of it let's see uh, when I was meditating off camera, what I did here is the door is open. I don't know what that means for you or whatever, but the door is open. Uh, obstacle for a Leo woman. Hierophant, yep, this marriage. Uh, traditional values. It looks like you're, yeah, you are married. I'm trying to have strength to move this forward. Um, some of you, it's court cases. It's, um big structural entities corporations the legal system you're trying to be practical have strength in dealing with for some of you it's a long-standing marriage it's a uh, a long uh, um, relationship there may be problems here maybe with a Taurus You may have legal issues with a Taurus in regards to a child. You're the mother of, you might be done with the father of your child. That's the situation. But anyway, this is the obstacle. Rule, reign, and regimen. So, um, what's helping Leo woman? <clears throat> the six of air, wow. You find in peace to move away, to sail away from the turbulence of the five of air, interference, opposition, um, 
regret, disregard. What am I here? It's something else I heard. Yeah, it's like interference, family, uh, gossip. You're trying to move away from that. You're trying to find peace and moving away from that. Maybe in 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 the way of getting under some spiritual regimen here. You may even be going to counseling, a counselor or a pastor. You may be dealing with something in the lines of court. It may be court mandated. It you're trying to govern yourself accordingly here. Tame yourself, get under some rule and regimen so that you can have the six of air in, in your heart, in your mind, in your environment. The advice here, wow, the three of there. You might have to um, divorce, separate, maybe due to infidelity, due to lies, deceit. You might be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There's like second thoughts in dealing with this. This has been long standing, uh, Leo woman. This is the nine of air. This heavy anxiety, sleepless, restless nights. You keep hearing the words of, you know, other people because there's heavy interference here. Your heart, your heart and your mind are torn. That's why you're at the nine of air and you can't make a decision and have the ten of air or even the death of a situation so that you can have rebirth within yourself. So some of you are, it looks like, we're going to clarify on the other side. If you do go ahead and divorce or separate or you just try to have strength and stay here or vice versa, someone's feeling this way about you. They're wanting to walk away. But there's indecision or high anxiety about walking away. Uh, Leo man. The seven of air. This is you right where you are. Trying to devise plan of action. And secrecy. In secret. Behind the scenes. Sneaking away. This is a person who. Their mind is set. On moving away from. Taking action. Mentally first. And. They don't care that they're not taking everything with them. They just care that they're getting self gratification at that very moment with the seven of air. Leo, man, you could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, trying to escape some escapism here. Are you on your correct path, Leo man? Wow, death card. Looks like you need to trade that off with Leo woman. Um, could be dealing with a Scorpio. If not, something needs to end. Looks like you're, you're lying, cheating, sneaking around anyhow. Maybe even making a plan of action to end something. Because you feel like you're not on the right path with the death card. End something and beginning. End beginning. Okay. Uh, or you want to transform. I really feel like it's an ending, especially next to the seven of air. Uh, what's your main obstacle? The ace of air. Not having that new start by way of communication. Definitely could be dealing with an air sign. This is the obstacle, the talk, the cutting away of by way of communicating. This is the decisive and divisive sword. So you divide. And you decide. So it's a definite, definite cutting away of. It's in ending and a new beginning, a victorious one. Uh, but that's the obstacle. Maybe you have not had the talk. You have not communicated how you feel. What's helping my Leo man? The six of Earth. Both sixes here. The need to find balance. What's helping you is the fact that you're trying to find balance in it all. It's the end of the year. Everyone's contemplating what the year looked like, what they want the next year to look like. 
and trying to find balance in the midst of it. Also, what's helping you is the fact that there's something or someone on the outside. The Leo man may be given to two parties um, in, in a sense. Um, there may be problems in a second relationship or second marriage. This is what's helping you, needing to find balance. Advice. Wow. Five of ours. Let go. It's funny. Both of you guys have had the advice of needing to divorce or separate. Uh, five of ours. Needing to um, sit in the, the mistrust or distrust. Uh, um, the lack of of trust the lack of confidence in a situation you feel left out anyhow and you want to offer a cup of love to or you want to receive but you know you can't fully do that without ending and beginning that only comes by way of communication maybe about the problems and the trouble in a relationship letting it all you're sitting with the fact that this is not working that you have zero confidence in it moving forward that someone is someone is getting out all that they want all that they need but Leo man be, may be um, feeling lack here wanting to get to some like twin flame type of energy someone they have very strong desire for someone who that they they're putting it on the line for they are definitely um, trying to devise a plan of action to cut away to have a, 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 a oh I heard tearing away okay what is the angel answers advice you know what I'm here to do butterfly oracle. What should Leo woman be concerned with moving forward? Two cards of advice for Leo woman. Two cards of advice for a Leo woman. What should a Leo woman be concerned with? Okay. All right. If they come back in. We'll, we'll bring them out. Yeah, it looks like, um, yeah, wow, this is just like heavy energy. There are no wands, so nobody's moving anywhere. No one's doing anything right now. A whole bunch of contemplation of, you know, walking away, wanting to walk away. Uh, okay, what should Leo woman do? Two cards of advice. These cards are, okay. Volunteer gracefully aging. Alright, so you gotta worry about your health and well being. Um, I'm here mental health here. Uh make sure that you you're you're bettering or yeah, you're doing something to better your environment, better yourself each and every day. Volunteer. I'm here and volunteer, um, volunteer information. If this is to some government agency in, entity, then it's to that. Or you need to volunteer how you feel in a uh, romantic situation. Let's see. This is advice for my Leo man. Take the next step now. Yeah, and it looks like you need to do that. Some of you had have devised plans. You're devising a plan of action to, to cut away, to move away, to have a new victorious start. Get some rest. 
Okay. All right. So this is what we have. We're going to clarify over at the website. Remember, the extended read is $1.75. Now, not a whole lot of money to get a potential outcome, especially if this reading has resonated with you thus far. Um, and you're not at a place where you can uh, purchase a personal reading. Um, the extended reading would do you some, some good. Um, yep, just click the link, pay the 175, listen to the reading. I hope that you you um, gain clarity about which way to go or, or what to do, or at least find a, a bit of hope in these readings. Uh, Leo, know that I am praying nothing but the highest prayers to you, to for you. Uh, remember to pray for me as, as well. Um, also, if you purchase any merchandise that's below this reading, you will receive a free five minute consultation with me via phone or video recording. Also, um, if you go over to the website and you purchase a gift card, maybe for the holidays, uh, and if you purchase a gift card in a $50 or more denomination, you'll receive a free five minute um, consultation also to use for yourself or to gift. Um, I think that's everything. Thank you, Leo. Take care. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Happy holidays.